Right, today I'm going to show you how to fit one of these thermostatic control fans for an RV or caravan refrigerator. You can pick them up on eBay for about 50 bucks. There are some other ones that are around $90, but this seems to do the job. Now, these are the instructions here. It says it turns off around about 30 degrees. So it turns off and on by itself. Um, there's not much of instructions. And I've done a, f a few like Google searches and some advice from other people and stuff like that and found the best way to fit it myself was to, um, here yeah, as, as I'm going to show you. So as you can see, I've actually pulled the fridge out of its hole there. And around the back here, that's the fan there. You can see it's working already. Okay. And there's a nice bit of air flow coming through there. Okay, so what I've done also, I've wired it up. And with the thermostat, it says to mount it on the thermostat switch. But, yeah, instructions don't say much. So, I'll put mine on here. So when it actually reaches a temperature higher than 30 degrees, it will turn on and it will shut off. Also what I've done, I've ran the wiring to the existing wiring, which is all 12 volt. Mind you, it's a 12 volt fan. So I've wired it in there and I've fitted a switch at the front. So I can actually manually turn it off and on. I don't know if you can hear the fan just turned off. I'll be quiet. Off. I don't know if you heard that anyway that switch i've just bought that off ebay for about or you can go to j car probably cost you about two two to five bucks uh yeah and that, that, that's it really um just be sure to make sure you, you install the fridge properly put some new tape on your gas fittings make sure you test it with soapy water so with your gas bottles on obviously to see if there's any gas leakage but again back around here I've just screwed it in the back there, the airflow going up, and that'll actually, there's your vents. Some, this caravan has two vents, uh, so it'll be sucking from the bottom and blowing out the top. Also on some, you've got like the exhaust port, for which is that piece there. And that's it, really. So again, we've just screwed it in there with two screws facing up I put the thermostat here it says to screw it in but I don't fancy screwing into pipes with gas or chemical or whatever they got inside I don't fancy do that so I've just tied it it's touchable so it's not going to burn or melt so the cable tie is safe if you're not happy about the cable tie you can maybe wrap a bit of uh, electric, uh, wire maybe some steel wire but do not make sure the wire is not touching these two because it'll automatically stay on all the time okay again we've just wired it up I've left the whole coil of wire without cutting it run it across drill the hole very carefully when you do the hole very carefully measure it up make sure because you only get one go and I fitted that switch there I could have put a switch in what lights up but I don't want to drain too much power. Okay, I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.